So, the 2024 Detroit Grand Prix happened today, and I just want to say that was a crap show. The race looked something like this the whole time. It was yellow after yellow after yellow, and at the end, we got a stint. But we basically knew who the winner was going to be with 30 laps to go. Shout out, Scott Dixon. I mean, I like to say, in my predictions video, I said Erickson to finish P2, and he finished P2. But, I just want to say, not a good race from IndyCar, quite frankly. I mean, at one point, you had the track completely rainy, completely rainy, and they ran under yellow the whole time because they were trying to figure out the order. Well, you had eight cars or something like that that stayed out on the alternate tires, or not the alter the primary tires, and then you had the rest of the field on rain tires, and the repeal on the rain tires got completely screwed over because they didn't get a chance to race on the rain tires, and by the time the restart came, the track was completely dry. I mean, you James Hinchcliffe saying the same thing I'm saying. So, I mean, it was just so stupid. I... I, I could not feel more bad for the guys that pitted for rain tires and probably did the right thing. I mean, should have gone green, and the people on rain tires should have had four or five laps to get the ground with the rain tires. It, I, I don't know. It was stupid. And for IndyCar to have a race like this after the Indy 500 is completely unacceptable. Because you got to think, Indy 500 got like six million people to, to view it. You're probably going to get... A fifth of those people returned. So maybe a million people watch this race, if we're lucky. How many of the people, if we had a million people, are going to come back and watch tomorrow, not tomorrow, next weekend's race? I mean, if you ran half the race under yellow, and the strategy at the peak point in the race when there's supposed to be a good strategy call, you didn't let that happen. I mean, what the heck are we doing in Car? I mean, it didn't make sense for me. I mean, if I had to rate the race... 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, I'd give it a 2. I mean, it was okay. I mean, Dixon ran a phenomenal race. Good to see Erickson get back up there. Marcus Armstrong, beautiful weekend. Um, you, did, you did really good. I was great to see that. Um, my boy Rossi got 5th, so he's now 5th in the championship. So, I mean, I mean, the results weren't bad. I just, I just didn't think it was a good race. But I can't do a Detroit Grand Prix review without talking about this incident from practice involving Santino Frucci and Kyle Kirkwood. Exactly. Whoa! Oh, you turned into me. You, you turned into me. Don't ever do that again. So yeah, I mean, in my personal opinion, Santino Frucci was completely out of line there. Although, I I don't know. I don't want to speculate. I just think Santino Ferrucci was completely out of line and flat out should not have done that. But, hey, it is what it is. You do you. So, I guess that's the Detroit Grand Prix. Um, I ain't got much to say, except it was a crapshoot. So, see ya and subscribe.